Hi there. I have an interesting stove to show you. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it's not new. I've had it for years actually. And it's been reviewed on YouTube uh, a lot, I guess. Um, it's this one. Um, the BioLite. Okay, so this part here is the um, electrical charger fan thing. Yes. And it, it fits into here, like that. This, these are the feet. Let's see. Like that. Okay, so I'll just go and get some twigs uh, for my stove and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've uh, put some twigs in the stove and uh, I will light my campfire. <clears throat> I forgot my knife today. Can you believe it? So what is going to happen now is that this... Um, you can lift it. <laughs> this orange part here will start a... Um, a fan using magic. <laughs> uh, I'm not really um, skilled when it comes to the technical stuff here, but the heat um, will start an engine, electric, electric engine inside here, which then starts a fan. And you can also then charge <clears throat> uh, some some kind of device, you know, like a camera or what have you. <clears throat> Which of course is uh, potentially very practical, you know, in an emergency. Um, and so when... One downside to this stove is that, you know, if you compare it to, let's say, the firebox, um, it doesn't have any openings on the side, so it, it's a little bit tricky to get the fire started. Now I'm just waiting for the fan to, to start, and for that to happen I, I think the whole thing needs to heat up a little bit. Um, so yeah, now I have the, the challenge is that the fire wants to go out because it's it's <laughs> doesn't get enough air from underneath so hopefully this fan will start soon and uh, then hopefully i can charge up my gopro camera here but it's it's still not going it's still just a rubbish uh, stove. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, hoping for the best here, hoping for a miracle. Now I did uh, test the whole thing uh, back at home and I know it is working, uh, but back home I had, uh, you know, very dry firewood for my fireplace and, and all of that. Um, but still, you know, this is what I normally use. This is um, branches off of these uh, spruce trees around me. And it's, I mean, I mean, if this can't generate enough heat for this device here to start working, then I would say it's, it's no good, at least not for me, because this is the firewood I have available in in these woods okay so the verdict is that you know even if i get uh this thing to work now 
it's it's just too time consuming it shouldn't take this long um, so the verdict is that well I remember now uh, why I haven't really used it much but anyway it comes with um, well you can buy extra a grill which I did oops I'll, uh, I'll bring the camera closer but um, let's see if I can figure this one out okay so it um, it attaches to um, to the stove um, then you have a, a lid here now I have to keep feeding the fire from here <coughs> so the idea is that and I have used this and it, it did work uh, the idea is that when the fan starts going um, the flame comes uh, underneath here and up and makes a very effective um, grill or whatever you call it but now I'm actually going to let the fire just die out because this is... I'm not happy with this. It's uh, too time consuming. I just checked and it's, it's not charging. This needs to get a lot hotter. So the verdict is that uh, the BioLite, it's not for me. Uh, maybe there are other people out there who knows how to I don't know knows how, knows how to use it in a better way um, I, but I'm I'm quite experienced when it comes to campfires <laughs> I <laughs> I've um, hundreds um, I made hundreds or maybe thousands of campfires uh, up through the years but um, Maybe I did something, maybe it's, it's better suited to, to other types of wood or what have you. I don't know. I saw it, you know, in my house there and I was thinking, why haven't I used my BioLite stove? I mean, it's just, it's just lying there. Uh, now I know why. So I will be back to my uh, firebox um, next time and uh, by the way thank you for watching if this was not too boring um, um, I <laughs> thank you uh, this video it didn't go the way I wanted to but that's that's just how it is sometimes and I will always be keeping these videos real and authentic I think it, that's really important because you will find a lot of videos on YouTube that are neither real nor authentic. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.